The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. Well, if you have the energy to look into this segment here that uh, we're going to conduct for you, then you came to the right place because energy is what we're talking about. Energy plays with our aggressive growth strategist, Brian Bolin, here in all his holiday splendor. <laughs> you know, that was an electric open, opening, I, I Terry. thought so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought so. Didn't have to mute it at all. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, let's uh, let's grease this uh, this uh, video up a little bit here. Yep. Uh, so we're talking about some energy plays, and uh, when you think energy, mm -hmm. the first thing that most people think of uh, is oil, crude oil. Sure. Uh, so I wanted to start this one off with a little bit different here, so we're going to take a look at the price of crude oil. And there's a number of ways to look at oil, but I like to look at it on Finviz. And uh, the WTI here chart gives me a good reading of what the whole oil industry is doing. You know, in the beginning of the year, oil uh, tailed off in about summertime. That's where it just turned around at about 42. Uh, now, in this uh, last few weeks here, we've been seeing the price in that 56 to 58 range, and it's held in there. Uh, and I think it's about ready to break out of that pretty soon. Higher? And when, yeah, higher. And so when we have breakout, meaning break up. Yeah. Uh, so when we have that, that's possibly going to be good for uh, other energy plays. So that brings us to the first one that we have, which, Terry, is... Oh, you're waiting for me? I'm waiting. De <laughs> Delec Holdings. Delec Holdings. What are they holding? They're here, holding. Ash? They're holding uh, assets uh, in the pipelines. Okay. So uh, even though the price of oil is moving up, it is a supply and demand driven uh, commodity. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is the type of situation where uh, there's more demand for it. If the price is moving up, that means more oil is likely flowing through these pipes. The pipelines care more about the volumes uh, than the prices. But it's getting, a situation. Right, that's the situation. Okay. Uh, so it is a Zach's rank number one strong buy. We always love to see that. Yep. It is a B for growth, but you know, yesterday it was an A. <laughs> yesterday Funny. being the 13th of December. Right? right. Funny how these things change on you just as you go to just shoot the videos on them. Yeah. Uh, but if we look at it, you know, we've seen the earnings estimates moving higher here. 90 days ago, 40 cents was the estimate. Now, 86. Big move up there. Next year, same big growth, uh, 76 to a dollar 80. So that's uh, real good. Here we see in the recent earnings surprise history, uh, a really negative surprise there, uh, but a lot of other positive surprises. So if you can withstand the incremental bad news that comes out of here, you have uh, good news uh, along there. So if we look at the chart, a uh, couple misses, a lot of beats, but that price is moving higher. Uh, and if we see in the past here, $40 used to be kind of a, uh, a area of resistance back in the past there. Mm -hmm. Still have a little bit of room to run to make 40 right now. Is everything still the same intact with first solar as when you first looked at it? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be sure, that's all. Well, first solar is a number one uh, strong buy, Zach's axe rank number one strong buy, and it has an A for growth. I saw that. And a C for value, so yes, that one is intact. Okay. Uh, First Solar has also seen estimates move up 206 to 252 for this year. Next year, the visibility isn't really there. A dollar 42 to a dollar 46 uh, higher, uh, but a you know negative earnings cycle there. But that might be a case where the earnings visibility isn't really there. We've seen outstanding beats here: 27 percent, 290 percent, 1700 percent, and 130 percent. The most recent, so the average beat over the last four quarters has been five. 100% plus. If we look at the chart, this stock has been up and down, but uh, you know, I really think with the estimates moving up, and especially if we can get next year's estimates moving higher, if we can see get a little bit, bit better visibility, this very well could be a hundred dollar stock, and it's only seventy bucks, a little bit under seventy bucks right now. Wow. It's tricky when the visibility gets a little murky. Right. I know when I drive, it's right. the same thing. Right. When you drive or when the analysts can't see, you know, that far out into the future. The road, clearly. Yeah, if they yeah. can't see the, the road through, you know, there's no point in going really fast. Right, absolutely. Uh, speaking of fast and going, we're going to get <laughs> out of here, but I have to ask you, do you own these? I do not own either one of these. All right. Don't forget, you can check out more information on stocks, these two, as well as many others, on our website, zax.com. Just get over to the homepage and link to it all from there. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.